Yo, it's your boy Ted. Everybody remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you. Peace. What we got in there? Let me look at my thing. Oh, dog. How about remember the uh, remember 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 Martin versus Ghostface? And and you're crying to the Jake right away. Why is that? Why are your goons not as hard as mine? Lift up your skirt, motherfucker. Yeah. And you're not afraid to be getting involved in, in the, I mean, this is like a serious group that is out to get you. I think he should be afraid. What are you going to do? Uh, that's all I'll say. That was Martin Shkreli, and the feud continues to escalate between former Turin Pharmaceutical CEO and Ghostface Killer. Just releasing this video response. Watch this. This is the guy right here that planned on challenging me. The, the man with the 12-year-old body. This will ah. be his name is Scarelli right there. When y'all see him, you know what I mean? But you know, I don't even know how it came to this like this. It's Ghost vs. Peter Pan in like 2016. <laughs> the white nigga that was going that ghost face, bro. Bruh, bruh, like the nigga who ran up the motherfucking price on that medicine, like. The pharma bro is back in the headlines. A judge today ordered Martin Shkreli to return 64 million bucks. Bruh. That's how much they say he made in profit by jacking up the price of the life-saving drug from about $13 a pill to $750 a pill. Bruh. That's not all. The judge also banned him from working in the pharmaceutical in industry for the rest of his life. Shkreli's in federal prison right now serving a seven-year sentence. Back in 2017, a jury convicted him for lying to investors and cheating them out of millions. This guy takes a pill from like one dollar to like fucking good, a gazillion dollars. I'm gonna put the real facts on the side. But bro, like really hyped up the pill like thousands of percent. And not only did he do that, bruh, he bought all of the raw materials because this nigga got money too. This nigga on some real life, like, you know, Evil rich ass Lex Luthor type shit. Bro, bought the medicine, bought Bruh. the shit you make the medicine from. Bruh. Said you couldn't make generics. Bruh. Like, man. Imagine if they said they could make generic perks out here. Like, motherfuckers be wild. Bruh. Add this to the thing. This also the same guy that he's fucking with Ghost. Who is the guy who bought, to me, what is the first real NFT? Bruh. Which is the unreleased Wu Tang album. For the two, I think he bought it for like two, two point two million, two million or some shit like that. And he, he didn't mind being a super villain. Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah, he and then oh, it was okay. like he more, wanted more to make Lex Luthor, okay. but he didn't want to be on a low making money. He, he tried wanted... to be on the podcast. He did. He reached out to me. <laughs> hey, ghost, I got goons too. Fuck that. I'm gonna play some of them clips because that shit was <laughs> niggas was going back and forth. Funniest. That shit. I didn't believe it was actually happening. The case the judge ruled on today is unrelated to that one. It was brought on by the Federal Trade Commission in seven states, including New York. Today, the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, celebrated the win and even trolled Shkreli with some Wu-Tang lyrics in her song. Ah! Envy, greed, lust, and hate don't just separate, but they obviously motivate Mr. Shkreli and his partner to illegally jack up the price of a life-saving drug as Americans' lives hung in the balance. But Americans can rest easy because Martin Shkreli is a pharma bro. No more. The Wu Tang dig is because Shkreli bragged about buying an unreleased Wu Tang album for a reported $2 million. He had to forfeit it when he was convicted. CNBC reached out to Shkreli's attorney, but we didn't get a jingle. <laughs> so we barred from any more pharmaceutical shit, period, because that shit was filed when done. You really made a whole bunch of motherfuckers die, so I guess that's what the 64 million is about. Probably Bruh. about suits and bullshit. Took the tablet from 1350 to 750. That's like I take your dialysis, man. Like, I, like, 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 what if a nigga did that to insulin, which I Bruh. heard it has been happening, but in, at a slower growth rate? What if I just took insulin, which I don't know how much that shit is about, and was just like, nah, nigga, that shit is, is, is five times that now. Bruh. Is essentially what he did with the malaria pill. So you know where malaria is bad at. Yeah, ain't got to say it. More than that, ends up caught in a fraud case. I didn't like, man, I ain't been paying attention to a lot of shit. Like, hence my situation, you know what I'm saying? After I got, sh man, after the accident, after I got shot, I've been focused on myself, like self-care, getting back walking again. I don't really be in the mix like that, but apparently Bruh. dude, Ben, he, he, he clinked right now for some fraud shit. But just to dump on top of that, which, I mean, let's be real, dog. 
You a hater ass nigga. You, 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 man, bro. You one of them niggas, bro. Like, here's what I'll say. Like, personal game, personal game, personal game. All right, yeah. I, I get it. Nigga, Tesla will sell you some shit for way less than you made it for. But nigga, Bruh. this ain't life threatening shit, bro. Nigga, my self driving car is it? That's a choice, bro. I can get on the butt, but you can take it like whole entire. Your evil genius, your evil entrepreneurial shit is on a different level, boy. And Bruh. guess what, dog? You read what the fuck you so Yeah, you got a feel for the bullshit, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Horrible games get you horrible prizes, my nigga. Bruh. A few moments later. It's like you double down on some bullshit. Like, I can see if you was just stealing and you lied about it. Nah, you literally killing motherfuckers, gloating about it, and you was stealing. Like, Bruh. I'm like, you, like, nigga, like, one of them, getting away with some of that shit wasn't enough. Like, you gotta know when you, like, that's the problem with some people. You gotta know when you fucking won. Bruh. You gotta know when you losing, because if you can't tell your ass from your face, bro, uh, you might, you might end up, like, wiping the wrong place with the tissue one day. Like, so, it, like, it, Bruh. Man. But that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Your boy is finally, man, you know what? Like, I ain't a hater, and you know what? I don't never want nothing bad to just happen to nobody. But it's, I like to see fields grow. I like to see Bruh. niggas plant they seeds, and the shit pop back up. And that's for Bruh. bad anger. You know what I'm saying? You planting, like, you know what I'm saying? I like to see niggas plant seeds, and that shit happen, because, uh, it puts the reality back in the world for for me, and takes this this, uh, this this fanatical kind of view of shit that people have away. It takes away all that like uh, uh, it's a concrete one plus one equals two that brings motherfuckers back to earth. Cause, uh, yeah, you do dirt, you gonna get dirt, man. Um, I'm pretty Bruh. sure this nigga laid up in a uh, you know a Gucci prison, Bruh. You know, with Chanel walls, and Bruh. probably got a bed that's better than mine. Bruh. But fuck it, you're still locked up. Nah. Man, what else the fuck we got over here, dog? Yo, it's your boy Ted. Everybody remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you. Peace.